Bro, I can't replace these things. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be another challenge that I am 99.9% .9 sure that I'm going to regret after completing it. You know, you can see by the title, you can read, likely. Today's video is going to be me attempting the wet brush challenge. Now, I haven't actually seen any videos yet on the challenge, but I was on Instagram and I came across someone's Instagram story and that's something that they were talking about. And I was like, you know what? I think it's time for a really odd obscure challenge that's gonna make me hate myself again. So I decided that that's what this week's video is going to be. So, let's get into it. Okay, so like I said before, I haven't actually seen one of these videos for this particular challenge yet, so I don't know if you can really dip it in water or what. I just know that they're supposed to be wet. Also, I don't know whether or not is every single brush, the brush that you blend and apply with is supposed to be wet. So I'm just gonna do what I feel is right here. I already started with my primer on and I have my spray bottle here so I would just be spraying the brushes with that so like my other challenges where I do really weird things with brushes um, I'm going to exclude the things that already come with a applicator so I'm going to start as I normally do by applying my concealer but yeah so exciting news i actually will have a life i am going to buy this by the time i post this it would be the day out So I'm kind of letting that red concealer settle in a little bit before I blend it out like I normally do. Um, although I guess it probably doesn't matter because this challenge will probably mess up the whole thing anyways. But I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows Why? while I set that down. I'm going to um, try to bring back something that they were very special that I started including in my videos but I stopped because camera broke a while ago so I thought it would be difficult but I decided to bring it back I was looking at some of my old videos and I don't know I feel like they're a lot more enjoyable than my more recent ones so I'm going to try to channel whatever I had then and try to put it in these videos because I feel like it was better quality it was better editing I don't know it was just a lot better so, I'm going to try to go back to that. I sound like every single YouTuber. Like, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know I've been putting out bad content. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> so, well, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my brow. The lighting is very weird. Although, finally, in my city is not gloomy for once like i woke up today and i was like wait a minute is that the sun it was like here comes the sun like really oh my god so um yeah i was surprised to see that although the lighting is still weird because i swear it went it moved to a completely different I'm supposed to wet this brush <laughs> it moved to a completely different time zone because i swear it gets darker three hours earlier than an hour earlier like 
I literally jet lag. I literally get tired at like 9 o'clock now. Like I'm like 10 or something. So I'm already flopping up this challenge by forgetting to wet my brush. I'm going to try to keep this as far away from my hair as possible. Okay. I think that's good enough. Um... I saw on someone else's story that like, oh man, I hope this doesn't mess up my brushes. I hope it doesn't mess up my product. I am broke. I can't replace these things. Especially the eyeshadows. Oh my god, that's it's always when the eyes come where trouble starts to happen. Let me see what time I film too. I have to like remind myself. Okay, this is not all oh, hope this is actually making the pomade a little bit better. Thank you goodness but I just have to keep reminding myself to like keep the pomade I mean ugh. I have to keep reminding myself to keep the mirror where like people can still see my face because every time I film I always have it like right here sometimes it'll be like the whole entire segment will be completely blocking out my face and I'm like okay you can't do that and if I had a better setup, I could just have like a stand-up mirror, but I do not have that. And so, um, I'm just going to have to hope that I can remember not to do that this time. Because honestly, it's like 3.30 I think right now, but it looks a lot more like closer to golden hour. It's so early to be golden hour. It doesn't even make any sense. It literally, the other day, I was like, man, it feels so late. And it literally was pitch black dark outside before even 6. It was dark at like 5.30. Like, in what universe do we live in? Does that make sense? And I swear, no other, like, fall, winter time has it gotten dark that early. Okay, so now that we have done that, we're going to go ahead and blend out this concealer, which I feel like wetting this brush is probably going to make this go everywhere, but also maybe not because beauty blenders are damp. So let's hope. As long as they're not like too wet, I feel like this probably won't turn out. Okay. I feel like don't, I got cannot stand the feeling of like wetness sticking on to like my skin so like like a wet brush the brush being this wet feels like sucks like getting into like a puddle of water I I, I don't like it I'm not here for it I think I have a Sponge I could do to help me out a little bit. I could wet this sponge. I'm gonna wet this sponge. This is too wet. It's too wet. Let me stop watching my old videos because I had a nice crisp camera quality, and the camera really was not half bad. It was a pretty decent camera, but it broke because uh the sd card that was in there it was a different one not the one i used for filming that broke and then let's put back in the camera and then the 
pieces like the broken SD card caught in there and then tried to get it out and now the camera won't read any other SD cards so if any other like photographers anyone else who does any like camera work has experienced it before um and you were able to fix it without paying an arm and a leg let me know because <sighs> this iPhone quality is kind of like not too too fond of it so now we're going to conceal around our brows and some things i feel like when they're tinier brushes they are pretty prone to getting like too wet very easily I feel like that's what might make the challenge honestly i feel like this is not even the fun part because i feel like the fun part is not gonna come the fun part, I mean the part I will most definitely regret, is not going to come until we do the eyes, which whenever there's any weird obscure challenges, the eyes are just, it just takes a turn that I didn't even know was that humanly possible to turn out that bad. When I was binge watching my own videos, I noticed that my first video, which is, for whatever reason, the most viewed video on my main channel, has 88 views. So, what you should do is get 12 friends or create 12 accounts or refresh the page 12 times. Do whatever you gotta do to get that video to 100 views because why not, you know. We all trying to get out here in this YouTube game, so why not help each other out? As far as concealers go, I think the wetness helps the concealer a bit more. So, we come up with a nice, dewy finish. makeup and then I'll get back to you when it's time for stuff that'll probably be more entertaining. might turn out things might go wary here because wetting a powder brush mm, I don't know how that's going to go to dust this off with a wet powder brush like that's going to go gross okay so I guess we we'll go ahead and dust this off now it's probably going to literally ruin everything yeah that took really uh chalky or something on no, you know like when your hair gel from your edges mixes with your foundation? That's what this looks like you know. Okay, so now for the fun parts, uh we will be going into the eyes now for a while now i wanted to create a look for my channel or just in general that was like this dark like green eyeshadow look 
um, I think that could be interesting, so, um, figured why not let today be the day for that. So, what I will be doing first, I think, is I will be using this green shade here from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, and I will be starting to apply that in the crease. I'm also going to do, I'm going to try to like pick up a little bit of the eyeshadow with like my finger and kind of make it loose a little bit because I definitely don't want the wet brush to ruin any of my eyeshadows. Now that we have the main color done and handled, we will be deepening up the crease. And for that, I will be using this like forest green type color eyeshadow. And I'm gonna be mixing with that, mixing that with a little bit of black to, like I said, deepen the crease a little bit. And I really want it to stay in the crease so I'm going to use this detailer brush I think and oh it still has glitter on it that's wonderful okay and I don't know if I want yeah I think I'll do a half cut crease and yeah this lighter green shade from the same NYX palette in this one. I'm excited about because it actually has like a little bit of sparkle in it. I don't know if you can see or not. It's like, it's like, like little flecks of sparkles in there. Hopefully it comes out really, really cute and since it's finally sunny I can actually take a decent thumbnail pic or Instagram picture. Finally brush probably will help the sparkles come through a little bit so this should be exciting how this time out. Hello. This is my sister everyone. For those of you who don't know us in real life who already know that information. To play off some of the little bit of sparkles that's in there, I'm going to be using this loose metallic eyeshadow from Star Crushed Minerals in the shade Champagne. And I'm going to take the very tiniest bit possible because there is a slight pigment and we really just want the sparkles. So now that we add a little sparkle darkle, now we are going to add some more green on the outer part of the lid. So we're going to go in with a black eyeliner pencil. I know a 
wet applicator is supposed to make shimmers show up really nicely, so I'm going to wet my finger. So, I'm going to do, got to do a little wind liner real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and did my wing eyeliner and my mascara off camera. And now, for the fun part, that could easily turn out to badly. And by fun part, it's because if it turns out badly, it's entertainment. <sighs> Contouring and such. Uh, this one does not look good. Okay, my palette's not really good. Nope, yep, I'm done. See water trees in my palette. Okay, so we're gonna wet this blending brush too. And let's hope that it fixes it. Not really. <laughs> Wonderful! Moving on, to being done with this train wreck. I'm gonna use. Let's see, I wanna use a fancy blush. I think I'm going to use the butterflies brush. Oh! Um, Butterflies brush from the Pro Fusion. Oh, yeah, that feels gross. Pro Fusion Pro Face Palette. Oh, that's disgusting. Highlighter. How wet is this? Oh, yeah, that's very wet. Yep, yeah, that's going to be gross. Gotta wet my finger too, because I do nose highlight with my finger. Lipstick, and I hope this actually works because I don't feel like changing again. And I gotta hurry up and get this video done. This is the Wet n Wild So Your Cool. Okay, so my story definitely did cut off again. So let's hurry up and finish this off. So we're now for the water or liquid we intend to put on our face. Ugh. so that concludes this video if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up click the notification bell down below when you subscribe to keep up with when i post um i will see you next time peace out sipping on straight glory let the vibe slide over me this beat is a